Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel is Finding Value. Uh, today, we're gonna go over our daily technical analysis update of gold and silver. Uh, we'll go through the dollar, the 10 year yield, we'll go through a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, get a good picture on what's going on there. Uh, again, I'm a huge gold and silver bull. It's coming, you just have to be patient, guys. You have to be patient, you have to buy when no one else is buying and that's how you make the big money. You have to buy when other people are not buying it when it and when it's out of favor. And that's when I start to cost average in. That's where I get my shares. Uh, and then I just hold on. So let's dive in. I'll give you my financial opinion. Uh, we have the dollar. Again, the dollar just kind of moving sideways today. Uh, I would say I'm very indifferent. We've got a nice big move higher and a nice strong move lower. Uh, and, and we're just going in this indecisive move sideways. I think eventually this will go lower. Uh, at some point, I can't tell you when that 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 turning point is. What is the turning point? What am I looking for? Why am I looking for this? Um, the dollar matters a lot because the dollar determines where money flows. Um, when the dollar is, is is in favor in relationship to other currencies, money seeks dollar denominated assets. And when money flows out of dollar denominated assets into other things, the dollar is going to come under pressure and go down. Um, so. Gold, when we when we view it in America, is priced in dollars, and the dollar portion is the bigger portion of that price increase. That that's what we're really gauging is the dollar price of this gold, silver, platinum asset. So the value of the dollar, uh, whether we're looking at the index, and I know the index, gold can go up with the dollar index going up, but gold's going to go and have extra rocket fuel when people uh, leave the dollar. Make sense? So um, I've been looking at this index, and usually when I see a commodity bull market, uh, we see a decline like from 2000 on to 2008. Now, why is 2000 such a huge point, uh, a, a huge area to look at? The reason 2000 is, is because that's where we started getting that bubblish type movement in the NASDAQ, and we started getting a decline in, in American assets. And when interest rates started to go up. So I think that interest rates will also cause a weaker dollar as it goes up because people are going to be selling dollar denominated assets and bonds uh, to go into something else. I don't know when that exactly is going to happen, that, that transition, uh, but I think it's close. And we've got a large downward pressure here with smaller up pressure. I'm, I'm looking for a move lower. But I'm not in the game of predicting things. I'm just saying I, I'm looking for a move lower in the dollar. The 10-year yield, I'm looking for a move to the upside. Higher inflation, higher yields, uh, which I think is going to rotate money out of dollar-denominated assets. Inflation. And that's going to push our gold and silver and platinum. It's going to push money into these assets, and we should see these assets go up. This is gold. It's right at the resistance line of this downtrend line coming. Uh, this is a consolidated move. I know some people think it's going to go lower. Some people think it's going to go higher. I am in the higher camp uh, because of where we are in the expansionary phase of real estate. Now, I'm in the higher camp for a medium to long-term move. What it's going to do the next month or two, I don't know. But it sure looks good. The only thing, there's positives and negatives here. If, if you look at this, big, big down candlesticks in here. See those? These usually can resolve lower. Because you've got these big impulse moves lower. Now, if, these, if there's people in there trying to manipulate stuff, then these may be false signals. Then you're left with... Uh, I don't know which direction it's necessarily going to go out of this triangle by looking at the impulse moves before it. So what I do is I buy it, the conditions are good, the valuations are good, and I just hold on. I have copious amounts of silver, copious amounts of precious metals companies and, and royalty companies and platinum, physical metals. Um, we had a smaller update today. I do think this may do a little bit of a, uh, maybe a bounce here and pull back and then hopefully a move like that. Um, and platinum sitting right at its resistance level. I drew that line and it's right there doing a, uh, doing a star type pattern there. I call it a star, a cross. It's an iron cross. How about that? <laughs> um, 
XAU to goal ratio, it's probably at resistance. I think that's where we were ending uh, last yesterday. Yep, right at resistance. We're trying to break through it. Once we break through it, the gold and silver miner should be able to take off. We're at, at resistance for Corora resources. We were up, but we're right at resistance. Uh, we got to break the big boy, the big boy uh, resistance line. Once we break that, see ya wouldn't want to be ya. Uh, we're going to see a big old move. And what I like about this one, and it's counter, I like these big up days and the small down days. This thing looks really good. I really like this chart. And um, when we break out of this resistance line, you're going to see a big old move higher. It's going to look good. EXK just moving sideways. Uh, that's on a monthly candlestick. Let's go to the dailies here. Just moving sideways right at this resistance line, right where the green line's at. We're right at resistance. Uh, Sil J moving on sideways, coming, coming up through this traffic area of volume and buyers and sellers, which provides a little bit of stickiness and resistance as you go through it. Uh, GDX coming up through that resistance area as well. Lots of buyers and sellers all through here. Uh, MMNGF looks like we had that bottom and we're turning on up 7.2%. I said, you know, it'd be a good spot if you guys like an exploration company down here to see a little bounce higher. Koya Resources, K-U-Y-A-F. That one also has a little bit of momentum going to the upside. Hopefully it can maintain that momentum. We've broken this downtrend here, and maybe we can uh, stage a move. And there's a lot of support underneath it with lots of buyers and sellers all down here from previous transactions. Discovery Silver getting a little bit of a bearish move. Bearish engulfing, which we could potentially head lower. AG just moving sideways, chopping sideways. Uh, Newmont, NEM, small little down day. This looks good to continue upward. It's a big buying pressure with small selling pressure. I like that. That move to go upward. Uh, MAG coming up to some resistance uh, for the move going upward. We could see it go sideways there or maybe even slightly lower. Yamana Gold hitting some resistance. That's what we have a wick at the top. Sometimes they like to bounce back a little bit or go sideways. Uh, we're trying to break out of this pattern here uh, to the upside. Impact Silver trading sideways. Uh, Aftermath Silver trading sideways. Just kind of trading sideways here. Arcana Gold trading sideways. This does not look like a strong chart to me for Arcana Silver. I know some people like me to, to chart this. PLG, we've got a little bit of an update today. I wish I saw more buying pressure behind this and get rid of some of this selling pressure. It has not gotten the buying pressure yet. Sandstorm Gold uh, playing around with its resistance line. It's right at support. I like it right here, guys. I, I, I like Sandstorm Gold right there. Uh, Franco Nevada getting a bearish engulfing. We could pull back a little bit. Every time we get to this area, we get a little bit of a sell-off. Uh, EMX getting a little bit of buying pressure today. Still looks pretty good to move on up uh, for EMX. Teuton Resources getting a little bit of selling pressure. Again, I like it down here. Uh, I think Teuton Resources has a lot of good assets, guys, and they're going to find a very large um, deposit on with Tudor Gold, and they own a 20% stake in it. Uh, so and, and royalties on it. Wheat and Precious Metals moving sideways. A little bit of a wick at the top. We could see this bounce sideways a little bit more. Uh, I really want to see gold take off. If gold takes off, the, all bets are off, and all this is going to go, I think, a lot higher. Gold Royalty got a nice, good update today. Uh, I still think this is going to go higher based off this bullish engulfing and, and, the, and the pattern that we see here. Looks really good to move on up. Uh, Metalla, Metalla Royalty, it's still in this little downtrend. It's in this little funk that we've got in all these companies. Uh, it's coming, guys. Give it some time. Give it some time. We need a weaker dollar, I think. We need, we need the, the overall markets to kind of sell off and then the money to rotate over into this stuff. Sideways for Mavericks Metals, uh, Royal Gold, a little small sell-off today. Um, still, we have a, bro a breakout here, so it still looks really good. And then a Cisco Gold Royalty, small little bloody nose today, almost. Uh, still looks okay. Not much selling pressure, big buying pressure. Still looks good to go higher. Um, so really, I'm, I'm just taking my eyes around gold, silver, and platinum. Are we going to get a move to the upside here? If we do, I think all the, the companies are going to follow suit. Um, some of them, you know, I bought a little bit in some of them, like Sandstorm Gold. Um, I do like that one. I like Tootin Resources, too. I think those are going to be highly leveraged moves to the price of 
uh, the commodity itself. Uh, I don't I don't own a lot of the mining companies. I own some, um, but I, I I have more money in the royalty companies than I do in the mining companies. You guys probably know that if you've been on the the channel for a while. So uh, you know it looks okay. I just want to see where where gold and silver goes. Uh, they they still look good. They still have buying pressure. It's not super large. It's not small. It's just kind of that medium type move going on up. Um, so we'll see where it goes. We'll continue to monitor it. Give me a thumbs up for the for the content. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.